All right, 10 tips and tricks in Blender that you may not have heard of. Let's get them. Say you have a bunch of separate objects parented in one object. Well, you can actually take that, hit Control G, and then select, say, the children. And now all of those individual pieces within the parent can now be selected and moved around. There's a really cool add-on that comes with Blender called Bool Tools that helps you do Booleans without having to actually search up the modifier and implement it. So select your two objects right here. And if you have Bool Tools enabled, hit Control minus does a difference. Control plus does a union. So if I were to apply this, they're now pretty much the same object. And if I do Control asterisk, it's going to do this type of Boolean. It's really quick. You don't have to search it up in the modifiers. Makes your life just a little bit easier. Sometimes when you import models and imports into your Blender scene just way off. So in this case, I'm just gonna take this guy and move him way off the screen. So what I'm gonna do now in the outliner, select the sphere, select that cylinder, I'm gonna hit shift S, and then I'm gonna do selection to active. And that's gonna bring it to this particular active one. So no matter where it is, you can snap it right to any object of your choice, makes your life a lot easier. Here's a fun one. You don't actually have to start with a really dense mesh to sculpt on it. What you can do is go into sculpt mode right here, click on click on Dyn Topo or Dynamic Topology, and then just go ahead and it'll start adding topology wherever you want. And now I'm creating a pretty much a creature from The Last of Us very quickly. And you can go through all of these really cool pieces over here to get different interesting ways of sculpting from going in to going out. It's really cool and you can control it. All right, this next one, it's a shameless promotion, but it's my add-on real-time materials. If you haven't heard of it, it's a pack of completely procedural materials that you can apply to anything with one click. I have so many really cool materials. I really love the cloth materials. The carbon fiber are really nice for cars and different objects. I recently added some really nice realistic wood that you can edit all the components from the roughness and all that really cool stuff like that. And abstract, I love abstract art. And I have a huge collection of abstract materials as well tons of really cool things. Feel free to check out the product page linked in the description. And for anybody who's watching this video, use the code 10 tips at checkout. That will give you 25% off if you'd like to purchase the add-on. Uh, with that being said, let's get into the next tip. All right, so there's a really cool brush and sculpt mold called Pose. Now I made this really weird thing. And what you can do is you can take things and pose them very quickly. And then you can say bring up the radius to make it a little bit bigger and pose these things. But very quickly I can take this and say I can, I don't know, turn this into a rock and really choose how exactly I want the orientation of this entire thing to be with this really cool sculpt. It's destructive, but it's really cool. All right, so if you're a beginner into sculpting or anything like that, you know that you need quads to really make things work well, even in motion graphics, which is what I do. So there's a really quick way to turn your tries into quads, and it's pretty much the way it sounds. So type in T-R-Y-S to, and you're gonna see tries to quads. If you do that, it is gonna do its best to turn all your tries into quads. Now it's not perfect, but it is a very simple solution to that relatively complicated problem. Um, but if that doesn't work for you, I'd say invest in an add-on, something like that. But this is a really simple way to solve the problem, and sometimes it's all you need. All right, so I have this object right here, and if I turn on my subdivision surface modifier, you can see it subdivides everything equally in terms of the way it looks, but say I don't want it to do that. What I can do, what you can do is select all of these edges that you want to be a little bit more, say, like hard surface looking, that I'm gonna hit Shift E and turn them into creases. You can just kind of pull this. And it's okay how much you pull, you can always change it, but it'll change that color. So pull that crease. And now if I turn on the subsurf, it's gonna treat it a little bit better. So we can kind of see that live now. We'll hit Shift E and change how much we're creasing it. And you can have a little bit more control over everything without having to add like more edges or whatever, but it's a little bit easier way to start with a little bit of hard surface style. And um, you know, it's not perfect, but it, again, it's a really cool, just simple solution. All right, we're back on Boolean. So say you created a Boolean and you actually, and now you need to start cleaning it up and making it look a little bit better. Well, one really simple solution is that to go over here in Edit Mode and Options and click on Auto Merge, and then go to some of these that were really close and hit G twice, and it will auto merge. Say you'll go over here and then hit G twice and auto merge it right into there and it'll disappear. And that will help you very quickly, kind of an automated way, help you clean up the uh, topology on your model. So first I'm gonna present the problem. I'm gonna go ahead and hit E to extrude. And notice when I move my mouse around, it's only going to X and Y, and I really wanna extrude it on the normals. What you can do is hit Alt E and then click extrude along normals, and it will actually go along normals. And you actually do that on multiple um, uh, slides here. So we'll do Alt E again, extrude along normals, and it's going to do it 
exactly the way you want. This is a game changer for just making your life way easier when modeling. So there you go. Those are the 10 tips and tricks for this video. Feel free to comment your own tricks that you love to use every day and I can add them into a future video. Uh, with that being said, feel free to check out Real Time Materials. It really helps support the channel and don't forget that discount code if you choose to get it and I'll see you in the next tutorial.